So as you can see, I have here a real estate floor plan, typical of what you'll find from a listing on a website or from a realtor, saved as a JPEG when imaged. We also have a few images of one of the main rooms that we're going to be modeling. How do we model this accurately from a JPEG, not a CAD file, and from images that don't really tell us much about the heights and the dimensions of spaces? So the first thing I'm going to do is open up SketchUp and make a new file. And I'm making this in feet and inches, but obviously if you're using metric, then millimeters or whichever template you're using normally. Now do file import, and we're going to import our floor plan image. So I'll find my floor plan, import as an image, and then just click and place it. It doesn't matter too much about the scale right now, because the first thing we're going to do is scale this plan image using the dimensions of this living dining area, which you can see it says 16 foot eight by 33 feet, one inch. So I'm going to draw a rectangle in SketchUp to those dimensions, entering them and then press enter. You can see this is the real size of this living dining space and our plan is too small. I'm going to make that rectangular group so it doesn't get messed up. And I'm going to use the scale tool to scale our floor plan image. And the key here is we want to scale it till the living dining space in the image floor plan is matching up with our rectangle that is the correct size. So now I'm just moving it into place and you can see we're almost there. That looks about right. Maybe scale a bit more. I think that's good. This looks good. Now you can see it's quite accurate. Now the next thing I'm going to do is verify that this is accurately scaled and we can use some, we can use some dimensions that we know what they will be in reality. So for example, a kitchen cabinet is always going to be 24 inches or two feet. And as you can see, this kitchen cabinet is actually two feet spot on. Same for this bedroom. It's scaling almost to the dimensions from the realtor. So we can be fairly confident this is a almost accurate, precise floor plan that we now have in our SketchUp model. I'm just going to offset this rectangle to start setting up some of the external walls of this apartment. But now our question is, what is the height of our walls? And in fact, what is the ceiling height of this apartment? Well, that's where using some images starts to become really useful. So I'm going to do file import, and I'm going to import the image that I had saved on my desktop of the living dining space. First thing I'll do is I'll place the image, not worrying too much about the scale. So I'm going to change the camera to a top view. Camera, standard views, top. This makes it a bit easier for us to work with. I'm going to explode the image. And what I want to do is I want to trim the image so I just have the extent of this one wall as if, as if this was an elevation. And you can see now we have from corner to corner this elevation. Don't worry if there's furniture or other objects obscuring part of it because it will still be accurate. You just need the corner to corner. So what we're going to do is line up this image to that window in our model, and then we'll be able to accurately get the heights of not just the ceiling, but the windows and any other elements as well. And now I'm going to rotate, rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm going to bring this and snap it to the corner of our rectangle, which is our room. And then I'll do tools, scale, and I'll stretch the width while holding the shift key so that now we snap to the width of the rectangle of our living dining space. And now what we have is our actual ceiling height at the top of this image. So now I'm going to push pull our walls up to the top of the image, which now gives us a very accurate or fairly accurate ceiling height and wall height. So I'm going to turn on X-ray mode, which makes it a bit easier when modeling with a photo on the surface or the face. The next thing we can do is we can start to use this image to again model other elements, such as the windows, now that we have the image showing the sill height and the head height of 
the windows. And in fact, we could even add in more detail later on. And now you can see I'm just drawing the outline of the window. And now I'm going to copy the window because we have two of them and we're very confident that they are the same size. Now let's hide the image so it's not confusing. Delete our original outlines. And now we've made two window openings. These windows openings should now be very accurate for the real size of them, which is great because now we have the sill height, the head height, and quite an accurate opening size that we can use in our design. And again, for this one, we have a similar run of windows on the adjacent wall. So I'm just going to quickly add in these windows, not being super accurate, but again, you can take the time to space them out evenly so that you have a nice uniform elevation along here. But I'm just gonna do this quickly now so you get the idea. And let's turn off X-ray mode. I'm just going to make these walls a bit deeper. The architecture style here is they have quite thick, deep reveals from these brick buildings. And now I'm just going to model the rest of the walls, which I'll do this in, hopefully you see what the idea is to go through. You can trace through them. You can model them a different way as well. It's really up to you. But the key is now that your plan is accurately scaled, you can now draw the rest of your walls very accurately with a almost precise one-to-one -one size. So here I'll draw the bedrooms, the kitchen, the main bathroom. Okay, so now this is an accurate model of our living dining space with the correct ceiling height and correct window sizes. Then once we're happy with all the walls drawn, we can start to add in some more details if useful. So I'm just going to add in the stairs, which again, you'll see the end result here. I'm just going to add in this wall, which goes past the stairs and has a little storage powder room underneath. And of course you can add in however much detail is relevant to your project here. I'm also assuming for the stairs that we have a typical stair rise and stair tread. That can depend project by project. And I'm just going to extend the living dining space with this extra little niche at the far end, now that we have our plan accurately scaled. And add in some more windows. Now these windows, from looking at the elevation of this building from the outside. I know that these windows are slightly different. They're not as grand as the ones in the living dining. These are just more traditional uh, casement windows, rectangular. So I'm going to model these in our two bedrooms. One more thing I'm going to do is just model a solid box for the two ensuite spaces in the bedroom. So one of them is a bathroom and one is the walk-in closet. Obviously, if they're relevant to your project, you can model them in more detail. But because I'm not working on these, I'm just going to do a rectangular box and we should be good to go. So now we have an accurately modeled 3D model of this apartment using just a image of the floor plan from a realtor and even just one image of one of the main rooms. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. If it was useful, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. And as always, good luck with your design.